So you're setting up a Discord server for your community, or maybe you even already have one. But you've noticed in other Discord servers that they have a welcome message and maybe some guidelines or rules for their server. And before you can get access to other text and voice channels in the Discord server, you have to click a little reaction or a little emoji beneath those rules saying that you agree to them. And then once you do that, you're given the role that allows you to see all of the voice and text channels. But what is this exactly? How does this work? Well, it's called a role reaction. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your very own role reaction and welcome message for your Discord server. Now, before we jump into the rest of this video, I do wanna let you guys know I am a live streamer over at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So I stream live over there full time. You can come swing by anytime we're live and hang out with us. We'd love to have you there. And you can leave comments either in the comment section of this video, or you can come ask them on my stream as well and I'm happy to discuss any questions or, or observations you may have about this video or other videos I've done. But with that being said, we're gonna jump in and take a look how to set up your own custom message and reaction roles for that message in your Discord server. So let's go ahead and jump over there and uh, you'll notice we're in Discord right now and we're gonna start off with my Discord channel that we've created when I started streaming called The Flock. And this is actually a huge community. We've grown to over 10,000, almost 11,000 people now. And so uh, it's a big community. But how do you let everybody know in the community when they come in, especially when your community starts growing larger, how do you let them know what the guidelines and expectations are for being a community member in this server? Well, we have the place up here called Start Here. And when people first join our Discord, they don't see all of these other these other message boards and voice channels down here. They don't see any of this. The only thing they see is this Start Here section. And so if you come over to the welcome, I've got a welcome message in here that basically says you need to go to our rules section. And uh, once you read through the rules, click the little green check mark to agree to our server rules and get access to the rest of the Discord. So right underneath the welcome section, we have a place called rules. And if you click on that, you'll see all of the rules for the Discord. And at the very bottom, you'll see this little green check mark here. We got a little hand pointing at it saying click right here. And once you've agreed to all of this, you understand the rules and guidelines, you click this, and then it assigns you a role called a flock member. And so once you get that flock member role, then it unlocks all the rest of our voice channels and text channels and you have full access to the discord server so how do we set this up this is a great way to allow people to you know have the proper expectation for your community but how do you get this to happen how do you get that automatic role assignment well to show you exactly how it works i've created a test server up here and uh, if you'll notice, I haven't posted anything in here yet, but I have done a few things before this video to kind of help us save time. So first thing we've done is we've created our start here category. If you don't know how to create a category, you can just right click and hit create category. So we created a start here category. And then I added by clicking this create channel thing, I added a welcome page. So instead of having a separate welcome and rules page on this one, we're just gonna blend the two, the welcome and the rules into one section. But you can do this wherever, however you want to set this up, you can set it up either way. If you want to have multiple categories in here, a welcome and then rules and then, uh, you know, expectations or whatever you want to do, you can set that up however you want. But the main thing that you're going to, want to do before you get started is go down here to your settings button, click on user settings, and then go to your appearance tab right here. Click on appearance and scroll down until you see developer mode. Now, to, in order for this to work properly, this is going to need to be turned on. So go ahead and turn this on now before we get into the rest of the video so that you're ready to go and you don't have to worry about it later. Once you've turned this on, we're going to back out of here. And, uh, and now that we've had our text channels and our start here set up, something you're going to need to do before we, before we go ahead and set up the actual custom message is we need to go to our server, right click on it, go down to server settings, and then roles. And once we go to roles, you're going to need to create at least one new role besides the everyone role. Now, what I like to do for my Discord servers is I, for everyone, I like to turn every single permission off. Now, if you have a Discord and you're not really worried, uh, you want everybody to have access to most things, you can come in here and turn on whatever you want. But I've turned everything off. And then under the verified members, that's where I've turned on that it'll display the role separately that they can, uh, you know, create invites, they can change their nickname, read voice channels, do things like that. And so whatever roles you want your verified members to have, go ahead and turn those on here. Basically what this is doing is it's preventing people from coming into your channel and when they first join as an everyone category, 
they're not going to see anything unless you go and specify specific categories or channels to show to everyone. And then the verified member role, this is for server-wide permissions, by the way. So all of these are server-wide. Every permission you turn on here underneath your server roles is going to automatically apply whenever you add this role to a specific category. So on verified members, my server permissions, server-side permissions are all of these things that they can send messages, read messages, and embed links and all that kind of stuff. Once I've set up a brand new role this way, I can come back over to my server and now I just need to set for each of these categories, I need to set the, the uh, category role. So I'm gonna right click on the category, go down to edit category, and then permissions. Now you'll notice under the, the start here category that we just clicked on, the everyone tab, everything is left as server default, which means that they're not gonna have any access to this. So what I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to turn on the read text channels and see voice channels. I need to turn that on. I need to scroll down and also turn on read message history. Here it is right here, read message history. So we're gonna turn that on. So everything else is set exactly the way that we did the server side settings, but we're gonna allow everyone to read the text channels and to read message history. That means that they'll be able to see the messages that are in the start here category and that welcome, but they're not gonna be able to post any messages or do any of these other things that we already had turned off. Now, you're also gonna wanna add the role that you created for your verified members, and you're gonna need to, because they're allowed to send messages to the rest of your server, you're gonna need to click on them and turn off the ability to you know, embed links, to uh, you know, read messages, or to uh, send messages. You can go ahead and leave the rest of these things on though that you've turned on. So for instance, like read message history, they can still do that, but they, you just don't want them to be able to post in your welcome message. That one needs to be limited to where it's a read only uh, Discord. So once you get all your permissions set up like this, you're gonna hit save changes. And now we're good to go. Everyone is allowed to see and read the uh, text that's in our welcome and the verified members can still read it, but they can't post. And so we've got that set up under the start here category. Under your other categories for your voice channels or your text channels, you can also right click, go down to edit category and permissions. And then you can do the same thing. You can have everything turned off for everyone so they won't be able to see this unless they're a verified member and then you can click on that and because we set it on the server side they're going to be able to read messages and post and things like that so set make sure verified members is added to the permissions for your text channels and also for your voice channels you want to edit category and add verified members to that one as well but you're changing the specific permissions just for this start here area now, once you've done this, this is where we get into setting up the custom message. Your Discord server is ready, and of course, you can add as many text channels or voice channels as you want. You just need to make sure that these permissions carry over and you kind of get them all set up to go into play with what you got going on here. So start here is the place that everyone's going to have to start. And in the welcome message, we're going to say, welcome to our Discord server. You've got to spell it right, though. There we go. There we go. Welcome, welcome to our Discord server. And then we're going to put a couple of hard returns in there and say, um, please follow these guidelines. And then we're going to do a hard return. Number one, be awesome. All right. And save. So we have one guideline. You got to be awesome to be a member of this test server. <laughs> but now that we have this set, we're gonna put in a line of code, but we first have to add a bot to our Discord before this code will work. So we're gonna go over to yagpdb.xyz, yagpdb.xyz. This bot is a bot that you absolutely need in your Discord server. It's one of the greatest bots for Discord of all time. So we're going to go in here and we're going to uh, go in the top right hand corner where it says select a server click that drop down and you'll notice that uh, I've already got my test server added if your test server isn't added it won't have this little wrench next to it but underneath this line it will say test server or whatever server it is that you have that you're trying to add so you'll click the little plus next to it and add that server to your list once you've done that you're going to click test server or whatever your server's name is and it's gonna bring you into the back end of your Discord server uh, for the YAGPDB bot. Now, if you'll notice on our Discord, we have YAGPDB bot right up here. 
Uh, he joined and he's a member now that we've added him. So he's available, he's ready, he's recognizing code. But what we need to do is go back over to our Yag PDB dashboard and we're gonna go to tools and utilities and then we're gonna go down to roll commands. Once we click roll commands, we're gonna need to set up a few things before we can type in the code to make the bot set up our roles. First thing we need to do is create a new group. And in this case, we're gonna name it, um, we're gonna name it rules, okay? The new group is gonna be called rules. And then we're going to make the mode single. Now you can always change this to multiple if you want people to be able to select multiple reactions to a specific question. Let's say you're setting up a, uh, you know, a server and you want people to be able to self-assign what platforms they use, like for instance, YouTube and Twitch. You can do multiple and people can actually select multiple reactions and it will assign them multiple roles like the YouTube and Twitch streamer categories if you want them to do something like that. But what we're gonna do is a single role assignment for this particular group. Uh, and we're gonna hit create new group. We don't need to worry about the rest of this stuff here. Hit create new group. And now our group is set. You can see that shows up right here. We can, we can make changes and save it or we can delete it if we want to. Then we're going to go up here to rules and under the rules tab, since we're still under there, we're gonna add the role that we want this bot to automatically give people when people click the reaction and agree to our server rules. So this role is gonna be, we're gonna make it uh, server member, right? Server member, that's the role that we set up and uh, that's gonna be under the group rules and then the role is gonna be verified member. Now notice it says role is above bot and so we're gonna make sure, we gotta go back over to our Discord server and we need to make sure that our our bot is above the role we're wanting to assign. The bot needs to be higher than the role that it's gonna be assigning to people for permissions and things like that. So we need to adjust this by coming over to our server and right clicking, going down to server settings, roles, and then we're gonna drag YAG PDB. now that it's showing up as a, a member on our Discord, we're gonna drag that above the verified members. And now YAG PDB is gonna be able to assign any role that's beneath it once, once you click a reaction. So that's what we're doing here. So we're gonna hit save changes, close out of that. We're gonna go back over here and we're gonna need to refresh the page. Once we refresh, now we're able to select verified member. So we're gonna rename this server rules again, or server uh, verified member. Okay, verified member. And uh, instead of server member, we're gonna name it verified member. And then uh, verified member is the role it's assigning, okay? And it's still under the rules category and we're gonna hit save. Now, once we've done that, you'll notice that beneath our group rules, you have the verified member category. It uh, is gonna be under this group rules here. And then the role it's assigning is the verified member. We don't have to worry about selecting either one of these. There's no stipulations or anything like that. So once we have that set up, now we're ready to do the coding part in our Discord. And it's super easy. It's just a line of, of text that you're going to be typing in. And I'll show you exactly what it is. In fact, the line of text we're getting ready to talk about once we pull our Discord open, uh, it'll be down in the description of this channel. And so you can literally just open that up, copy it, and paste it in once you've gotten this far. So... We've already made our custom message. Remember earlier, we turned on developer mode. So we're going to literally paste this right here inside of our Discord server. Dash role menu, space, create, and then under group name, we're going to erase the brackets and group name, and we're gonna put in our group name, which was rules. So we're gonna say rules, and then we're gonna put a space, dash M, space, and right here where it says message ID, we're actually going to go up to our message we've already posted. We're gonna click on the three dots, and go down to copy ID, and your message ID will be pasted over the brackets and the message ID word. So we're gonna paste that right here, which should be a long string of numbers like that. Once you've done that, then you're gonna put a dash RR, which is a role reaction, and then if you want, you can also put a dash no DM, which will prevent the bot from sending the person who's reacting to the, the emoji. It'll prevent the bot from sending them a message every time they click your reactions. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and leave no DM on here because you know it's not super necessary. Or, or you could take it off if you prefer your people to know every time they click it. But 
Uh, you've got that on there. So this is the full line of code. This is for a custom role reaction. And as soon as I do this and I hit enter, the bot's going to come in here and it's going to say react with the emoji for the role command verified member. So what emoji do I want people to click when they come into my my welcome screen and they see and I want them to agree. Well, in this case, we're going to go up here. We're going to click add reaction and I like the green check mark, but you can use whatever emote you want as long as it's a discord default emote. So don't use any custom emotes, but if you go up here to the smiley faces, you can start using smiley faces or whatever you want. And uh, in our case, we're going to go all the way to the, I think it's at the hearts and there's the green check mark. So we're going to click white and green check, check mark. And you'll notice that right up here under that original message, now there's a little check mark with the number one next to it. And that's right underneath our guidelines, right? So now that we've done this, this is all you have to do. Now that we've done this, we're going to delete the YAG PDB message because we're already finished. And it even, it even tells us that you're done setting up, right? So we can delete that and we can also delete our line of code. And now you literally have your welcome message. That's all there is to it. Uh, so we've got that set up and ready to go. Now watch what happens in the upper right hand corner. See my name? It's grayed out, right? And I'm just online. The moment that I click this little green check mark right here, look what happens. I now move into the verified member category and my name is green or whatever color you assigned to this, to this role. And if I click this green check mark again, it takes away my verified membership and I move outside of that role. And then in this case, if I wasn't the administrator of this Discord, it would also close down these channels and I would not be able to see these. The moment I click this, not only does it move me into the verified members, but it also opens up the rest of my channels that are only available and visible to verified members. And so once you've done this, guys, you've got your message set up, you're ready to go. You can actually come in here anytime you want. You can edit this page. And as long as you don't, you know, delete this whole entire post, you can edit, you can put whatever you want in this welcome category. You can add rules. You can, you can uh, add things to your welcome message. And then as long as you hit save and, and never delete this, this will always be available on your welcome message for people to come in and get access and self-assign uh, to the verified member, right? Or if you want it to be, uh, you know, new members or, um, you know, agreed members or whatever it is, you can change that when you do the role setup. But that's all there is to it. You're set up, you're ready to rock, you've got your first role reaction in your Discord. So if you like this video and you found this video helpful, smash that like button and help get this video out to as many people as possible. And if you like this channel, smack the subscribe button. We'd love to have you with us. And last but not least, smack that notification bell if you want to know when new videos come out here on my channel. I really, really appreciate you guys. Again, I'm live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eaglegarrett almost every day. So come check me out over there. We'd love to have you. I'm also on Twitter pretty much all of the time. So you can message me on there. Uh, I've got Instagram as well. And of course, Facebook, if that's your thing, you can find me on there. Last but not least, I do want to invite you guys to join our community called The Flock on Discord. There's a link for all this stuff down in the description of this video, but we've got a great Discord community of over 10,000 people. We're about to hit 11,000 people, and uh, we have all kinds of cool stuff in there, great conversations going on, lots of different voice channels you can use. But also, if you're a streamer or a content creator, we've got places in there where you can promote your YouTube videos or your YouTube channel. There's also a place where you can promote your Twitch channel and we can move you into the currently streaming category anytime you go live. And so people can see exactly when you're streaming. It's a cool way for all of us creators to be able to, you know, see what everybody's got going on and support each other in the process. So guys, come check it out. We'd love to have you. Uh, also, if you're interested in Eagle Garrett merch or anything like that, I've got a cool merch merch store down in the description of the channel as well. So check it out. Cool stuff in there. And uh, we change it out every so often. So it's kind of exclusive too in a, in a roundabout way. But anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Rock on. Peace out. God bless. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. And last but not least, kaka. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, guys, I just messed up. I just messed up, dude. I hit the elevator on accident. No. Dude, oh, this is the die. dumbest thing of my entire life, bro. I'm crawling out to you guys. I'm crawling out to you guys. No, dude. I'm such... I'm, I cannot believe this. Well, I have a self-res, and I'm still... Uh, I down one. I down one. I down one. Come on, Martian. Where was that from? Oh, we got so
second. <laughs> 